hey good morning uh, this is vikas sharma uh, here to discuss with uh, discuss on cyber security and cyber crimes uh, i'll be waiting for a minute or a two to join Uh, am i audible and the lights are okay with it can somebody notify me can somebody write in the comment that i am audible or and the lights are okay okay cool got it i'll just wait for a minute to people to join the page Yeah, it's the time, eleven o'clock. But still, I'll be waiting for a minute to more people to join in this live session. Yali ho, ma'am. Good morning, sir. okay i guess that's the time uh, we'll be starting with uh, the we will be discussing on cyber security and cyber crimes happening around the world so good morning guys once again um, i am vikas sharma an alumni of dps east and ceh that is certified ethical hacker by ec council and cyber enthusi- enthusiast and a bachelor's pursuing bachelor's in cyber security first of all i would like to thank dps team our honorable principal sir to provide me on such an great opportunity for this i hope you all are safe at home maintaining social distancing uh, so how many have you heard about the quote privacy is a myth yeah i repeat privacy is a myth uh, well in the case of cyber space or we can say cyber uh, cyber world it's totally correct privacy is a myth it's just an illusion you can't have 100% privacy if you are on internet like uh, if you are on internet and that is the fact that is a true fact nobody can have a uh, like you, we can say 100% privacy and i have also uh, experienced that thing uh, within this years and all so i uh, basically i'm here to share up about my views about the cyber security and the cyber incidents happening around the world incidents and if possible i'll be discussing with uh, how the cyber attack occurs how do we prevent them and all this thing in briefly no doubt in briefly okay uh, you yourself might have been observed after in the lockdown that the interaction with your devices like i can say or i can say like the spending time on the internet uh, is exponentially increased as da- drastically increased whether be it whether it be a online classes like google meet zoom or video sharing conferences or it whether it is an uh, entertainment like netflix prime sony live etc etc or it is a communication with near ones like uh, video call and all that is also a one type of social distancing we can say like communicating to the near ones then there are lots of security issues coming up uh, due to this all uh, you know increasing activity uses of increasing uh, devices and internet uh, recently our indian government proposed and 1 uh, 1 crore rupees uh, uh, award for the developers to create an alternative to the zoom app you, we might be watching like uh, uh, zoom we are using in the uh, audio like cl- online classroom but then are that but that there are so many issues security issues uh, in the zoom app that could lead to the like uh, cyber crime therefore government is asking some developers f- of the india to create an to uh, create an alternative to the zoom app and of course the winning prize would be rupees 1 crore rupees, uh, rupees 1 crore and that's not a small amount yeah okay so first of all we would be starting with the students in the online classroom uh, yeah teachers are teachers educators instructors are making lots of and lots and lots of efforts for uh, crea- for you know continuing the education in the online platform i know they are also as new as the students are and they are paying a lots of effort i i can see that 
but then there are students or some fake IDs that tries to vandalize the class or disturb or uh, you know distract the class. Just I just want to let them know that uh, no matter what you do, no no matter your digital fruit, footprints are being stored in the server and on the uh, internet service provider. So don't be in dilemma that ki if you would be deleting your Chrome history or uh, you know you you would be using your incognito mode, so uh, you would be safe from your site. No, that's not the thing. And now uh, like uh, and that's not the thing. And you need to be like as much discipline uh, as you were in the physical uh, classroom in the online classroom. And now talking about the parents uh, who work from home. It is advised to take a precautionary steps to prevent the cyber attacks on their devices, or to say, or I can say, to prevent the cyber crime, because uh, as they are working from home, their con companies or confidential data, or I can say, organization data, is being stored on their devices, which is quite vulnerable than the devices present in the physical offices. Yeah, back before then, lockdown. Uh, people were working in the uh, offices and that was secured that were designed to be secured to prevent the cyber attacks that devices were uh, having some policy security policies and frameworks and compliances which is like quite efficient to uh, prevent this uh, uh, cyber attacks if if it is so so now it's your also responsibility to prevent uh, the, to take care of their company's data and anything happens to the data company's data uh, you might be in great trouble Oh, okay. Now we, uh, like the, we, the young generation, like twenties and thirties, we, the spe we, especially the young minds, are called are co are the digital citizens uh, called as netizens. Yeah, I repeat, we are the digital digital citizens called as netizens. But the problem is we don't know the netiquettes and cyber laws. Netiquettes, it's like it's like the same as the etiquettes. Uh, etiquettes, uh, but when we come to the digital world, when we come to the digital stuff, it becomes netiquettes and uh, cyber laws. Uh, you might be knowing about. I will be giving a brief in instruction, uh, in brief info about the same. So for us, for us generation like us, like twenties who are between fifteen to thirties, like uh, age of fifteen to thirties, hacking is a fun, and it's not the fun. It's like uh, it could put you in the great trouble. Trust me, it can put you uh, behind the bars up to 10, 10 years and more than that. That depends on the crime. So uh, we are the young generation. We the young generation are the affected uh, by the cyber crime or we can, or I can say like we are the most vulnerable generation. Uh, we are the most vulnerable generation in the uh, field of cyber security because the crime perpetrators, I mean, say, I mean to say the crime attackers and the victims both are of the age like 15 to 30, like both are the young peoples. So, uh, this would be like uh, we, uh, the we, the youth generation, has to be like aware of the cyber crimes and cyber security to. Uh, prevent us from uh, indulging into cyber crime and you can verify this data in ncrp that is national crime report bureau uh, on the google or something else okay so what the problem with our generation is uh, like uh, everybody wants to be an hacker ethical hacker yeah i am also an ethical hacker but everybody wants to be an ethical hacker uh, and the problem with them is like they don't know the definition of an ethical hacking ethical hacker yeah for them, ethical hacking is like uh, how do we you, how do we hack uh, our girlfriend's account or an ex account or somebody's uh, social account, social media accounts. That's not the thing. Like uh, that's not the ethical hacking. That is like three years of jail, khana pina kapda free. Yeah, that's the thing. That is not that. That is not we call as ethical hacking. Ethical hacking is like for how how do we defend our systems? How do we respond to the security at, uh, cyber attacks when it occurs? That's that's the stuff. That's the criteria of being ethical hacking. Uh, ethical hacking, okay. Uh, like uh, 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 our IT Act, we do have a strict uh, IT laws, IT Act laws uh, to prevent the cyber crime. Like Section 66 says that. Uh, uh, hacking is a punishable crime as per the IT Act law. Creating, posting, or sharing uh, any obscene content uh, could lead you to the behind the bars uh, for the two years and five lakh rupees of fine. And if that obscene content uh, uh, content contains sexually implicit content, then it would be increasing up to the ten lakh rupees fine and uh, five lakh uh, five years of jail. Yeah, and everything, all other thing like hacking and all is also a crime. See. 
hacking is not all about the social media and all it's about how do we prevent ourselves how do we know and it's like very necessary to us to aware been aware of this uh, it uh, cyber crimes and all because we are the we the youth generation are the most affected by the cyber crime cyber attacks and cyber security so uh, i thought ki it would be better to give an brief intro about the cyber crimes and cyber securities uh, happening around the world so you might be aware okay basically like talking about the cyber crimes uh, cyber crimes yeah there are only two types of cyber crimes uh, reported in india no doubt there are more cyber crimes there are more types of types cyber crimes but there are mainly two types of cyber crimes uh, reported in india first is online frauds banking frauds uh, and second is social media that is misuse of social media i'll be brief, uh, i'll be briefing about you both uh, first of all uh, talking about the online frauds and banking frauds uh, see i'll be explaining it to you uh, i'll be explaining you it by the incidents yeah i got a call from somebody uh, he told me to verify my data uh, he told me to verify my data uh, of the uh, of course bank data by aadhar card and if i don't do that uh, you would be, i would be blocking my account uh, as per her instruction as per his instructions okay so the moment i verified my data by the aadhar card the next moment i received a message rupees 90000 gone and 10 rupees balance yeah that's the case uh, uh second incident uh, which i remembered it was in last year yeah it was in last year so in the hotel like uh, somebody gave the uh, his card to pay the bill uh, the in return they pay uh, they also provided like uh, they also provided uh, mouth fresheners and uh, brochures of their uh, hotel and after 10 minutes they returned they obviously returned their uh, card uh, to the you know person next day in the early morning they received a message a person received a message whose card has been used uh, that is uh, like uh, the message was something like uh, rupees 40000 shopping done on Mumb- uh, dubai yeah like the person never went to the dubai in the dreams also but the card the data the money has been used in the dubai yeah that's the case there are lots and lots of issues that is, it is not the thing like uh, it is about uh, thousand rupees or it can goes up to crores and crores uh, before six months uh, the, there were one btech student and two bca students uh, we they stole around something around 94 lakhs rupees from the online website yeah uh, this crime can lead you to the 100 and 100 crores of the ru- money but when you would be behind the bars that would be of no use yeah now talking about the social media yeah misuse of social media it includes blackmailing uh, posting and sexually implicit uh, content of your partner or something else uh, revenge porn pornographies uh, etc etc uh, it is advised to sp- spend time on the hobbies creating hobbies or spending time on the hobbies rather than spending time on the dating sites or uh, social media as we can know ki the hobbies are much more safe yeah than the dating sites and uh, social media and quite productive uh, than these things on all see basically i'm not here to warn you about all this thing ki aisa aisa hoga ki aisa karoge to aisa hoga i'm here to make you aware about this thing ki aisa aisa bhi hota hai these are the things in the happening around in the cyber space so you need to be aware you need to be uh, like you uh, I can say you need to be you know prevent uh, yourself from indulging into the cyber crime or I can say uh, cyber cell <laughs> cyber cell thing. Uh, how does this crime happens? Yeah, now we would, we would be discussing about how does this crime happens. Uh, like uh, there are mainly four to five types. Mainly mainly I am talking about generally which happens in the India. Uh, four to five types and which are quite successful also. Uh, like I would be not using technical much more technical terms. I will be using I will be explaining in the Greek uh, Greek language. Like it's as simple as that. I can make it. Uh, so there are like generally uh, phishing. There are four types which has been used to make the cyber crime happen. That is phishing, wishing, not phishing, p h i s h i n g, phishing, uh, wishing. Uh, uh, what do we say? Email email mark email frauds and uh, social engineering. Yeah. Uh, in phishing, uh, if I explain about uh, phishing, uh, it is like uh, I if I pretend to be I am attacker and there is a somebody that is victim, I'll be uh, sending a link to him 
which would be uh, which would be having uh, log credential site which would be having uh, login input uh, matlab id and password input karne ke liye hoga that uh, thing for example let us take about the example of facebook only so if i am an attacker and i want to know somebody's uh, facebook password and id i'll be sending a same copy of uh, facebook page uh, which is that is login page and that would be mine obviously that would that page would be mine which i will be sending your link you will be entering into uh, entering your data that is login credential that is password and id is into the page and when you will be clicking uh, login button or i can say submitting button you will be no doubt you will be redirected to the original facebook website and you will be logged in but the copy of the credentials like login id and password will be submitted back to the server and server and the attacker can access that server any time it's the it's her server or his server so your id your credentials might get exposed yeah see there are uh, like uh, for uh, if i tell about like uh, you know in the practical life there are messages coming around like login into the ptm or login into uh, facebook or login into any uh, website and get uh, rupees 100 rupees 200 200 3000 5000 any amount x amount of money after logging it see you need to verify that it website is genuine it's original because you know there are softwares there are tools which i have also known ki uh, we can make the same duplicate website and you uh, you don't know that credential where it will be uh, redirected to like it's okay we need to be assured like you know there is a difference between there also there is a difference between like www.facebook.com and www.app.acebook.com these two website are also different you know even a single dot in the uh, website can make a lot of difference so you need to be aware uh, about the phishing and that's the most successful uh, cyber attack uh, in the india yeah talking about our country in the india next is phishing phishing is like uh, uh, the phishing done in the call on the call like i got a call uh, i got a call from somebody uh, uh, maybe some lottery winner or lottery or something some company uh, he told me like uh, you won a uh, 25 lakh rupees lottery yeah 25 lakh rupees lottery and all i need to do is i need to submit 25000 rupees for the procedure and some bank details and pan card details and all important stuff uh, are to be needed uh, as per the like human greediness uh, we can say nobody would be saying uh, no would be, nobody would be saying 25000 uh, in against the uh, 25 lakhs and we would be submitting 25000 to the give, given account yeah the next the next moment you submit your money you won't be able to contact that person again yeah that's for sure and that's i can say uh, like the the uh, call the number they have used the email id they have used either they will be de destroyed either they will be uh, like redirected to someone else like they have used someone else resource to uh, uh, commit this crime yeah that's the thing email frauds uh, talking about email frauds uh, talking about email frauds uh, see Uh, there are uh, we can say attachments yeah email attachments we can say email uh, some link uh, like phishing but uh, through the officially like uh, through the uh, mail uh, they have uh, like uh, if there is a pdf file or the zip file or i can say there is a link in the uh, mail uh, you would be opening it you nobody uh, you would be downloading it who knows that uh, which malicious code is been behind that that zip or that pdf yeah pdf is also exploitable zip uh, file is also exploitable website when you run website if there is if there is some malicious code uh, on the startup event then that's also uh, exp uh, exploitable that could lead you to the uh, dangerous yeah that is that's the dangerous and that could lead you to the problems yeah you know uh, the way design the way the malicious code code has been designed it would work same as it, as it was designed for like it's virus so it will be destruct, uh, destructing your system it would be like it's spyware then it would be uh, giving your credentials giving your all ids and passwords back to the server etc 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 and the last is social engineering social engineering is like convincing someone to give their credentials uh, by their own yeah like uh, if i am a social engineer ex a social engineering expert so i have a skill to convince someone to give their passwords and ids from their own and basically uh, if we uh, technically see that's not the crime if you are giving a uh, id and password by our own so it's uh, we can't say it's a crime but yeah there are many social engineering experts which can lead you to the like convincing that they they, they need your id and password for some xyz reasons and you need to 
and they would be uh, uh, you know they won't be harm, harming you but after submitting your ids and password like we can say on the call we uh, we always receive a call from like uh, we need an otp uh, i am from bank xyz bank and uh, uh, to prevent this your account of blockage or i need your whatsapp otp otp for more uh, further uh, secure you know i can say uh, security verifications and we end up to uh, we end up up to giving otps and all in the uh, to the uh, attacker and that's the end you can imagine imagine ki like uh, kitna nuksan hoga yeah now uh, this was all about cyber crime and cyber security uh, now from my personal desk my personal experience the you know i, I have observed uh, like uh, in the uh, like lockdown there are many app applications there are many websites uh, which are made for the like covid 19 yeah corona virus uh, like if you download this as you download this app i'm not talking about the arogya setu that is official by narendra modi except that i'm not blaming all the apps but then there are also the apps like which are named for the covid 19 the, like it would be uh, telling us ki like download this app and you would be getting the news update or you know the lives uh, updates of your cities and all or the website uh, will be giving you the updates and all i must say ki you should be preventing this all because you know uh, in in sp- specifically talking talking about android when we download an app uh, we would be like uh, it would be asking for us permission yeah gallery access uh, call log access message access camera access microphone access and all and no doubt we definitely ignore this thing and we allow them for the all the access in the thing uh, just imagine uh, when you log in for some uh, app applications and you allow messaging access to the application and when you register for the like uh, uh, account they are otp of that uh, app is automatically written by the app and it is automatically submitted to the uh, application and you might have observed that yeah लाइक like, ऐसा होता है कि अपने एप्लीकेशन रजिस्टर किया और टी खुद आता है खुद रीड uh, ओके खुद अपने आप इनपुट में आ जाता है अपने सोचते हैं कि इट्स लाइक यू नो न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी न्यू ट्रेंड बट दट्स आल्सो अ सिक्योरिटी इश्यूज अगर वो मैसेज अगर वो ऐप वो मैसेज पढ़ सकता है ओ वाला देन वाई कांट ही रीड ऑल अदर दी मैसेजेस नो डाउट दे वॉन्ट बी द कंपनीज वॉन्ट बी डूइंग इट बट दोज हु आर डिजाइन दिस एप्लीकेशन और दिस थिंग्स फॉर हैकिंग पर्पज ओनली then nobody can prevent that so i need you to check your uh, app permissions of the applications and allow them when it is necessary like facebook is also having uh, asking for the permission of microphone uh, i'm not saying facebook is uh, sec- uh, unsecured and i'm not saying it's also 100% secure it's quite easy uh, like talking about facebook uh, instagram and social media is are like quite easy hacking is not all about like uh, you know getting into someone's uh, social media account or all it's uh, it's more than that it's like pen testing uh, one vulnerability access went uh, security official professionals and all so i need you to check the this uh, app application permissions and all don't click any website without being trust uh, without being knowing that you know uh, there was a uh, before in the dpss there was a sir uh, computer sir mohit ja yeah he told me like uh, think uh, just think twice before a click yeah uh i was in like fourth or fifth standard uh, he told me like he think before click uh, yeah think twice before a click and that's quite you know good you should think before uh, clicking any website you know if any web, if you are directed to any website any malicious website you would be in trouble and who knows you are the victim for the other attackers like you could be the middle person like your devices your uh, mobiles or your accounts could be like uh, i can say the uh, are used by the attacker to commit another crime on which would make you in trouble like yeah uh, there are ip spoofing there are calls spoofing uh, like they would be using your ip address to commit a crime and when cyber cell would be no doubt the cyber cell are quite way more intelligent in this uh, uh, in our country uh, yeah then uh, in our country especially about our talking about our amdavad cyber cell uh, i have been a volunteer in cyber crime uh, in the cyber cell uh, volunteer and i will be active, actively participating in this they are quite more smart but you know you would be trouble for that also like your ip address has been used your call number has been used or your device has been used uh, you know this uh, uh, attackers the hackers knows ki that uh, like in the lockdown uh, 99.9% public are busy in 99 
पब्लिक आर बिजी इन इन्वेस्टिंग दे आर स्पेंडिंग टाइम्स ऑन द इंटरनेट आई ओ टीज एंड ऑल एंड दे आर क्वाइट वनरेबल वी आर नॉट अबाउट वी डोंट नो अबाउट द इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट दिस सिक्योर्ड एनवायरमेंट वॉट डू वी कॉल इट दिक्योर्ड एनवायरमेंट सिक्योर्ड framework policies uh, talking about online classes i gave you about the brief info uh, brief info how this things happens in the uh, in this perspective of all uh, i need you to be aware of all these things uh, i i'm not saying ki you should be like 100% uh, uh, you know i can say uh, aware i not aware wouldn't be like alert yeah i alert would be a correct word i won't say that uh, you should be 100% alert but you know they, you should at least have a brief uh, knowledge about the cyber crimes so as to prevent yourself otherwise it could lead you to the at least 2 years of jail and 5 lakh rupees of fine and you know, uh, in physical crime we can't uh, we can deny that it's not ourselves but in uh, cyber space uh, you can't deny because there is a proof there are digital footprints stored everywhere every matter matlab everywhere uh, that's all from my desk uh any questions or any doubts regarding the cyber crime i can answer them if i'm i'll be knowing i'm not a pro in this thing but i'm also i'm not a beginner in this thing yeah so any doubts or any questions hello i guess there are no doubts okay that's all from my desk stay alert stay home and stay with the family thank you goodbye